it's already taping. Yeah. Wendy Babcock, loving mother, committed activist, and cherished friend. Wendy, we will never hear your laugh. We will forever hear your laugh, remember your warm smile, and honor your memory. As a courageous community activist, you made the world a better place, and you inspired so many with your work, your story, and your spirited life. You will live on in our hearts. And I want to quote, the most beautiful people we have known are those who have known defeat, known suffering, known struggle, known loss, and have found their way out of the depths. These persons have an appreciation, a sensitivity, and an understanding of life that fills, that fills them with compassion, gentleness, and a deep, loving concern. Beautiful people do not just happen. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross. You're here. Hi, my name is uh, Jorge Antonio Vallejos, and uh, <laughs> I met Wendy um, in 2008 at Ladyfest. She was doing a sex worker ally workshop, and Tori Scout helped with that also. And then I met her at the Carolyn Connolly Vigil. And then we organized together uh, the first Reclaim the Streets. This is a t-shirt from the second Reclaim the Streets. Reclaim the Streets. So um, I'm reading something called Remember Wendy Bad Remembering Wendy Babcock, a letter and a poem. I wrote it by hand two days after I heard about Wendy on Facebook and then published it on blackcoffeepoet.com August 12th. So if you want to see it on your own and have it on your own copy, Check out August 12th. It's called Remembering Wendy Babcock, A Letter and a Poem. Dear Wendy, as I write this letter, I am listening to Get Up, Stand Up by Bob Marley. It's what you believed and did. I remember meeting you at a meeting for the first Reclaim the Streets rally that we helped organize with folks in Toronto's downtown east side in 2008. You were open, honest, and respectful. Community, not individualism, was on your mind and in your heart. As ideas, laughter, and good vibes circulated the room, you were at the center of it all. Not because of your position at the table, but because you were one of the main sources of all three. Our introduction turned to group work, to lots of laughs, smiles, hugs, and flirting every time we saw each other after that. And your honesty was warm and loud. We met before Jorge at Carolyn Connolly's first vigil. I smudged you. Laughter followed. Seeing you in action was a pleasure. Your speeches, chants, sign holding, and telling the cops to fuck off were beautiful. <laughs> when you came to mind, when you come to mind, I think of an ally who is also an activist. The two don't always meet. Your work towards stopping violence against Aboriginal women and women of color was awesome, not only because your mind and heart teamed into action, but because you weren't Aboriginal or of color and you cared. Right on. I, I, can't, I can't say that a lot of, I can't say that about a lot of white people or white women. Your lead in the fight to make sex work safe, accepted and appreciated was one of insider consent, but you didn't put that in people's face. Rather, you embraced allies on all levels, spiritually, emotionally, physically, and mentally. If an ally made a mistake, you didn't pounce on them like many activists in Toronto tend to do. You practiced patience, kindness, and self-control, and you saved your energy for the battles you saw as important. A good fighter picks their shots, remains calm, maintains balance, and strikes when they see an opening and when the time is right. A good fighter also learns from their losses and gets back up after being knocked down or knocked out. My interactions with you saw you do all that. You had leadership skills that most people lack, but that didn't see you pointing fingers and ordering people around. You often stood at the front lines, something that most so-called leaders are too cowardly to do. And although you knew a lot about a lot of things, you recognized that some knew more than you in other fields, and you were willing to learn by listening and doing your own research. You displayed true character at the Gladstone meet last year when sharing the stage with other groups that you disagreed with and with people who defamed your name behind your back on many occasions. 
you recognized, unlike many, that it wasn't about you. It was, a, it was about the cause, the work, the people, and positive change. It's because of your words, energy, time, and all I've written above that I decided to join the Bad Day Coalition for one year. Right on. <laughs> seeing, seeing you work for the first rally to happen and be a success, I was assured that BDC was a good cause and organization. Your drive was inspiring, your analysis bang on, and your work ethic should be studied, written about, and emulated. I was honored to be invited to your 30th birthday party. Walking along Danforth, saw me gather food for my poem, Shane It Isn't Fair, that you liked. A couple of months later, saw the ultimate validation via your smile, followed by an embrace and a kiss when I read you, White Van, at the corner of Greenwood and Danforth. I remember your words. This should be read at the court case going on right now. I've attached White Van to this letter for you. It said that sound never stops traveling. Every time someone plays the video, it will add to the circle of never-ending words you loved. May White Van be a blessing, a hug, a smile, and a kiss every time you hear it circle Mother Earth and the universe. We were supposed to meet in early July 2011 for a lunch that didn't happen. Your last week of physical life saw you inviting me out on Facebook. I wish it had worked out. We'll have lunch once I leave my physical form and join you up there. Our much awaited hangout sessions will see feasts on the stars and non-colonial planet traveling. Until then, prayers, poems, smiles, hugs, and a kiss. Jorge Antonio Vallejos. Thank you. You can get that on blackcoffeepoet.com and white van and she is not fair. Thank you very much. It's all about Wendy and it's about us. Peace. Thank you, thank you, Megawitch. Um, I want to, our next speaker is going to speak about